Welcome back to the next episode of Pokemon Uranium. This is a very special episode, and I know you guys have been excited to see it. Last night, after finishing my previous stream, I took Weaver out to get some fights, and I evolved four of my Pokemon. My Forb has become a Folorog. Still got clear body. Kitty Morph has become a Felunch. It's packing cute charm. Alita has become an Ampharos. Got that static. And Tufto has become a Tofurang. Got Intimidate. That's four more Pokemon, which has up to my obtained count to 150. So Bambo has something special for me. What, what have we got, Bambo? Uh, hello, Taurus. Are you here to evaluate your Pokedex? I'll reward you for reaching certain milestones in your collection. Hmm. So you've seen 184 Pokemon and caught 150 of them. Goodness, 150 Pokemon already. I have a reward for you here at the lab. It's an egg containing the starter Pokemon that neither you or Theo picked. Oh, uh, your party's full. Come back when you have more room. Bambo, my guy, you're a little late to the party on that one, I'm afraid. Kind of already have that. Alright. Let's head up to the champion site, get our team together, and it's time. I'm very excited. Now, if you'll recall from last episode... God. The Pokemon Championship works a little differently this time around. We're not fighting a bunch of Elite Four members. We're actually facing off in a 32-person knockout tournament. I know Theo's in there, and I know the other me other gym leaders are in there. I think all of the gym leaders. I know Maria's there. And I think another one got name-dropped. Alright. Who is my ultimate team? Spark, obviously. Weaver, I'd like you to be here, but you're just not as strong as the rest of these guys. Gotta be you, Omen. If I didn't bring lemons, uh, Jenkins would disown me. Gotta be Chemical B. She is so powerful. And I just think Simon's stronger than Godai. Yeah, it's gotta be this. This is my main team now. We got Al, the Pajay, Spark, the Electroxo, Yeoman, the Bariite, Lemons, 69, the Turland, Chemical B, the Chimaconda, and Simon, the Dunce Seraph. Lemons has Earthquake. Earthquake just shreds face. If something can be taken out by Earthquake, Lemons is here to wreck it. Okay, Chemical B is falling a little behind. Should be okay though. I'm gonna give it a Leftovers because Leftovers is good. And I might even let it run first, just to get some early XP. Right, let's save up and begin. Here we go! Beyond this point is the Tandor Championship Arena. Once you begin, you must continue until you either win or are defeated. Also, no items may be used in battle other than what your Pokémon already holds. Are you sure you're ready to enter the arena? Oh gosh. Very well, good luck. Up next, round one. Taurus versus Angelica. Trainers, prepare your teams for battle and report to the league attendant when you are ready. Hmm. Our sophisticated strategy will overcome trainers of a lower class. I know I look cute, but you shouldn't underestimate me. I won last year and I'll do it again. My Pokemon has saved countless lives in the sea. We're ready for any challenge. Hey, there's the Bill Beach leader who kicked my butt before. And I think that's Maria over there. Don't know who that dude is. Are you ready for the next round? Yep. Very well. Please proceed into the arena. Okay, time to find out if I'm ready. Oh, goodness, that's a lot of people. Let's see if I can spot Theo, uh, Cameron, and Dad. I couldn't. No, there they are, there they are, top ring. Top left, you can see Theo behind Bambo, and then Killen next to him, and... Uh... Where the hell is Cameron at? Hello, ladies, gentlemen, people of Tandor! Welcome to the first round of the Pokemon League Tournament! We have some of Tandor's best and brightest here to dazzle you with their spectacular battling skills. I can feel the anticipation in the air. These trainers have spent their entire lives preparing for this moment. But only one will be crowned champion today. Who will it be? These trainers' skill and battle will determine that answer. 
Oh, I'm so excited! Alright, Angelica. Wow, you look like a really strong trainer. Um, I'm Angelica, and I train fairy types. They're cute, but don't let it fool you. They're really strong too. After all, fairies can stand up to the power of dragons. So, we aren't afraid of any tough looking trainers either. If you aren't acquainted with the power of the fairies, then you'll know soon enough. The rules of battle will be as follows. No items may be used other than what the Pokemon already hold. This battle will continue until either side has no Pokemon left that can fight. If both trainers are ready, then... Battle... Start! Um... Fairy trainer Ange Lady Angelica, I have a problem for you. Uh, oh god, that's level 70. Okay, maybe I should have, like, invested a day of pure grinding. Well, we are going into this severely disadvantaged, so... Fingers crossed. Flamethrower. I guess Sludge Bomb would have also been really good, but... Kem's got that. Alright, Cam. Yeah, get that XP in you. Aromatisse, that's perfectly okay. Sludge Bomb! I'm really glad I put Chemical in the lead. Yeesh. Oh, that's gonna sting a lot. But it's not stabbed, so Cam takes it. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure fire resists sight, uh, fairy, but isn't super effective on fairy. Yeah. Okay, but I think if I land a sludge bomb, this Sylveon's out. Unless it's super special defense tanky. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. <laughs> Every time! You idiot! Idiot EV trainers! You keep trying to use Last Resort and you keep failing. Alright, good XP gains. Oh, the Evolution AI in this game is so broken. It just keeps trying to use Last Resort. I mean, I'm kind of glad that Sylveon... Uh, I'm glad you're rooting against me, Zoe. Thanks for that. I'm glad that Sylveon didn't wreck my face. Alpico. That is Ice Fairy. So I'm going to Flamethrower it, and it's going to die. Oh, but it's Speed Type, so this is going to sting. Wait, isn't that a one-hit KO move? Are you freaking kidding me with this aim hack? Oh, I'm so mad now. Unbelievable. Alright, well, Al, it's your job to murder things now. About to send in Winnow Tinja. That is fairy fighting. So the correct thing to do to that is S slash. I can't believe it landed sheer cold on me. That's such cheating. Final Gambit? Huh. Okay. Never heard of Final Gambit before. Siren Tide. That's Ice Fairy? Water Fairy. Maybe Al shouldn't be here. I'm gonna flamethrower and pray. Water Fairy. Okay. Whatever, I'm gonna let Spark take this now. Good effort, Al, but this is Spark's job now. Wait, no, not s Well... Y'all just Thunderbolt it. Sorry, Zoid, can't fight Chactalay. It's probably going to take th two Thunderbolts, 
but it's better than um, Mega Evolving and giving it priority. Yeah, I can tank a Moonblast. Well, no items is nice, at least, because my opponents aren't healing themselves. Not being able to heal myself either does kind of suck, though. Lady Angelica has been defeated. Goodness, you are really quite strong. We tried our hardest in this battle, and that's what counts. What a match! A thrilling display from trainers and Pokémon alike. Okay, so my team gets restored. Up next, round two. Taurus versus Sir Goldcorn. Oh. Prepare your teams for battle and report to the League Attendant when you're ready. Okay, everyone got full healed, so that's what matters. Uh, I'm gonna let Chemical take the lead again. Chemical, she needs that XP. In area. They moved around from last time. Still saying the same old thing though. Why is it round two for me? Because it's a 32 round knockout. There should be other people getting knocked out before me. Ready for the next round? Absolutely! It's weird that I can't see camera. Folks, we're back with round two! Both of these trainers took home a win in the previous round. Their strength is no joke! I can tell that they both are itching for another fight. Well, let's not delay. On with the match! I do say, have we perchance met before? I am certain we have. You do leave quite an impression indeed. However, allow me to reintroduce myself. I am Sir Goldcorn. I represent a refined style of battle. A tradition which is sadly going away, it seems. But I shall prove that refinement still has a place in the arena. Please allow us to have a clean civil match. I'm going to burn your house down. <laughs> this is my third round with Sir Goldcorn, not counting repeat fights on the bridge. So... Battle start! So it's a 32 round, so it eliminates once to 16, once to 8, once to 4, once to 2, and then the finale. So that's, right, 2 to the 5, of course. So that's 5 rounds to win, which is like an Elite Four in Champion scenario. Okay, I don't think this thing can take out Ken before Ken rocks its face off, so go get it, Ken. Unless it's got, like, Surprise Earthquake, which would be very surprising on a Tanskewer, so, nope, Crunch. I mean, Tanskir is not a very impressive Pokemon for this. This region's Mariana. Brutal. I remember when I tried to make a Mariana good, it didn't work out for me. Send in Splendifowl, that is a flying type. And Chemical can certainly rock that. It's not po p packing anything that can stop Chemical B. It's got Flash Cannon, which doesn't get stabbed, so... Wow! Why was it not very effective? Is Flash Cannon... What's Flash Cannon? Is it... I thought it was electric. No, I'm thinking of Zap Cannon. What's Flash Cannon? Steel? But Steel should be neutral on me, because I'm part Poison. Unless... I thought Steel was super effective on Poison. These trainers aren't too bright, which is good, because they do have a level advantage on me. They're certainly not comparable to Elite Four members, though, that's for sure. Here comes the Hero Loon. Okay, this thing can Earthquake, though. I think the correct thing to do is to let Simon get it. See, that's why I'm looking forward to Pokemon Sun and Moon telling me about typings. Okay, that's fine. I, I'm naturally resistant, uh, immune to ground. Get that Skyfall, Simon. Pierce those heavens, my boy. Nice! Hey, get that Spiral Power. Drain Punch. That is not going to hurt. It hurt a little bit. 40 points. Why does it make you sad? Comes that air slash. Oh, withdraw. 
Okay, Simon, you need to leave immediately. Never mind. Unless this Whimsicott outspeeds you, you're just gonna wreck its face off. It does! Alright, this is gonna hurt. It's not gonna take someone out. This thing can't do 300 points of damage. Alright. Chat's getting very excited. About to send in Ampharos. Now that's not Simone's job, that's Lemons' job. Lemons is way faster than Ampharos. It's gonna get earthquaked. Though, I think it can take an earthquake. I suspect this Ampharos can take one earthquake. So it might be able to one-shot Lemons if it's got something scary packed away. We'll see. Yeah. Ah! It's not stab, but Lemons is not very tanky. But Lemons was tanky enough! My boy. Correct, Dragon Ground. That's gonna be scarier when people I'm fighting start Mega Evolving. I like how I'm still fighting people who don't have six Pokemon with them. Here comes that hero loon again. I'm gonna let Al finish the job there for that sweet level 70. The specialty shop sells leftovers on Friday? I think it's Friday. So I went and bought six leftovers because why would you not buy six leftovers? It's completely ridiculously broken. That should not have been on sale. But it was, so I said thank you very much, and I did my purchase. Alright, I'm gonna let some Yeah, Simon can take a barrier. Where's the music going? There it is. Uh, my life orb is on... There is a store in Tsukunami Village that sells life orbs, but I've only got one, and it's on Godai, who is not in the party right now. Because Godai's Life Orb Drain Punches are incredible. With... Sheer Force, I don't believe any of my teammates have that. I got Serene Grace, Static, Moxie, Flash Fire, Arena Trap, and Petrify. Here comes another Skyfall! I'm getting meta lessons about how Life Orb works. Defeated Gentleman Sir Golcorn. I say! Goodness, that was quite a thorough route. I may require some tea and biscuits after this match. If you like, you'd be welcome to join me. What a match! A thrilling display from trainers and Pokemon alike! Up next, round three. Taurus versus Maria! Oh, great. So it's Maria, then Bill Beach Leader, whose name I've forgotten, then Theo. Hey. Alright. I see no reason not to save right now. Let's take a moment to save before we move forward. Hey. Ready for the next round? Absolutely. Please proceed into the arena. Let's do this, Maria! Lady Maria, let's battle. We're back with round three, the quarterfinals! Of the 32 trainers that entered the arena today, only eight remain. These are among the toughest of Tandor, the paragons of our region. I can tell the crowd is loving this. It only gets more intense from here on out, folks. What could be in store for us this round? Oh my god, can it be? Is it Taurus? I totally remember you! It feels like forever ago that you challenged my gym! You know, I totally went easy on you back then, right? But here in the arena, I won't hold back at all! I didn't win the championship one time by slacking off, you know? 
Rules of battle, beast follows, no items, yada yada yada. Battle start! Sup, Maria? Oh, she looks ready to rumble. Lita Maria. Alright, flying normal. That's a pretty chumpy start, but I'm not going to underestimate Maria. She, she's been a champion once. So even though pretty much any of my team members could wreck this thing, I'm going to burn it down. Petrify is such a terribly powerful ability. Oof! That's going to leave a mark. Not enough though. Not nearly enough. Goodbye, Eshelton. Maybe they do have 16 members. I thought the fairy team person didn't have 16 members. But maybe I wasn't counting right. Let's count. That's one. A Felija. That's fine. Ken can take it. Because it's going to go to sleep. So here comes a flamethrower. Now, if Maria is smart, this thing has a berry to wake it up. Okay, nope, it's got sleep moves. Oh god! Kem, I am so sorry! Wow, you got me good with that. It's got a life orb on. That's terrifying. Alright, you omen? Get buff. This thing doesn't have a move to one shot, you omen. No way. And you omen's going first. It's super, super dead. Yeah, there's no way it can take a drain punch from you omen. Now that you omen has entered big spicy boy mode, that means Spark won't be able to go into super lightning mode. Send in a done Sarah. Oof. Um, that is Spark's job though. Spark needs to Ice Beam that. Two Megas is a little suboptimal, but I love them both, so they need to stay and do these things. Here comes that Ice Beam. I think it can take an Ice Beam. One Ice Beam. Yeah, it has a lot of health. But Air Slash, I mean, what's Air Slash? You're not preempting me to flinch me. Leftovers, good choice. Not remotely good enough. Oh! Okay, how's this Tanskewer handle an Ice Beam from Spark? Incredibly well! Huh. Okay. I'm gonna let you omen take this. Oh, I can't believe that surprise Earthquake on Chemical B. That got me good. I should have seen it coming because Earthquake is just a really good move that everyone should have in their team. It's still funny though. You reckon I could take this out with a single Drain Punch or do I need to use one of my legendary Cross Chops? I reckon a Drain Punch can do it. Especially since this thing's only rocking Crunch. What a chump. Like, Yorman is just straight up the answer to Maria. Yeah, goodbye, Tanskier. And I will take all of my health back. Thank you very much. Yorman is so hard to kill unless you're super, super effective against him. Here comes another Dun Seraph, so... Let's get... Oh, wait. That's Spark. Dun Seraph, right. Because she withdrew it. So Spark will just come back out and murder it. I'm glad you understand all the high tier items because I've never memorized them. This game makes them a lot easier to obtain than the main game, but still. A paraboon. That's going back to Yorman's job. I'm gonna crunch it. I don't think flying would do too well against Yorman. It would hurt unquestionably, but Yorman's got a big tanky defense and a lot of HP. Yorman can take a flying hit or two. And I'm just going to crunch this thing and it's going to stop. Wow, you're quick! 
Wow, Boom Burst hurts a lot. Oh, right, right, right. Bloodlust. Uh, did that recover enough to let me crunch? I sure hope so. Come on, you omen. Big spicy boy, big spicy boy. Damn. Not big spicy enough. Uh, I'll just let Spark finish this. Alright, Spark. Just go zap, zap, zap. I got really scared there for a second. Damn, that power boom hits like a truck. A Kiracorn. That is a fairy type. That is Al's job. Yep, that's Al. Though, it could be rocking something scary. I don't have a great setup against this, so I just need to burn it down. I also lost count of how many Pokemon Maria's used now. Okay. Well, here's a Mega Kiracorn. I finally get to see its front sprite. Don't know Thunder. Okay, Moonblast is fine. Yep, okay, Owl's got that. If all she's gonna use is Moonblast. Yep, Owl can take this out of one more flamethrower. Murder Bird doing the work. Yep, okay, this Kiracorn couldn't stop me. That got a little scary though. It got a little hairy once uh, Spark was severe. That bo those boom bursts really ruined my day. Defeated Leader Maria. Oh my gosh, you're totally incredible! Wow, like, that was a totally sweet battle. I guess this just isn't my year to win. But now you better win in my stead, okay? I never locked down Maria's voice. I had a voice for her back in the days when I fought her, but... What a match! A thrilling display from trainers and Pokemon alike. The other Pokemon was the Felija. Up next, round four. Taurus versus Kali. That's right, Kali. Uh, Kali likes water types, or beach types, more than anything else. I don't think I should lead with Kem this time. I'm going to lead with Simon. Yeah, six Pokemon would make sense. Okay. Let's move on. It's time for the uh, semi-finals. This is Kali. Here we are, round four, the semi-finals. Only four trainers remain in this arena. They are Tandor's best and brightest. And now, their battling skills will determine which of them to get, get to move on to the Champions Arena after this match. I can feel the tension crackling in the air. Let's make this battle one to remember. Hi there, Taras. I wanted to thank you for stopping the power plant attacks. You really did a good thing for Bill Beach City. I feel of Tandor. Ever since I heard about that, I've been itching for a rematch. This time, my team and I are going all out. I hope you'll go all out too. Alright, yeah, the Ashalton. Because it was such a throwaway Pokemon. Here we go! There's Callie. She wants to rumble some more. By the way, has anyone else noticed Callie has mad eyebrow game? Respect. Ugh, tuberial. That's definitely not what I wanted to open with, but let's see if I can Paralyze and Flinch Hacks it. Come on, Simon! Mmm, that's a tanky tanky boy. Oh, that's Ice Fang. Alright, Simon, we are now leaving. Good work Paralyzing. Time to go. I'm going to have Spark Rampage this. Because this is part Dark type, Yorman could break it, but I think it's time for Spark to get to work. I really would have enjoyed a fully paralyzed there, though. Alright, Spark, 
This is for you. Get those thunders out. This thing obviously has a huge special resistance though. I'm positive it can tank a thunder. Alright, Storm Morning. Yeah, wow. I think I might be even able to take a second thunder. Youch. Okay. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. More water types are good. Yeah, and Spark should be fast. Oh, especially now that it's paralyzed. Yep, yeah, Spark gets a free kill. I really thought she was about to pull out the um, ground grass crab, which I did not want Spark fighting. So I guess I could have ice beamed it. Well, there it is! Oh god, do I ice- No, I can't. I need Spark alive. The correct way to kill it would be to have Al burn it to the ground. Oh, but it's raining. Okay, I'm gonna air slash and pray. I'm gonna tailwind my party. Okay, you have Stone Edge. That's really, really bad. Uh, can't really justify Kim right now. Sparks Mega Evolve. Simon can't hurt it. Lemons can't do much about this. Uh, ground resists poison, so Chemical can't just sludge this thing to death. Uh, but I can't really justify bringing in Uomen because... Man, I think it's gotta be Uomen, and I really don't want it to be Uomen. But I think it has to be Uomen. I think I've gotta cross-chop this thing. I could Aerial Ace it, but that's so much weaker than cross-chop. Okay. Rain's over. Citrus berry. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Don't do the don't do me dirty like that. I can't believe you're doing this to me. I can't believe you're doing me this dirty. You omen, you had to take this for the team. I'm so sorry. I can't believe how dirty Callie is doing me right now. And this thing's just gonna stone edge. Stone edge, Simon. Simon, you gotta do this. You gotta paralyze it and make that paralysis stick. Paralysis? Simon can't tank that stone edge. No way. No. Simon took the stone edge! And the citrus berry's gone. Okay. We've taken out. Only two of Kali's Pokemon and taking a real beating right now. We are in a bad position. That Co-Cancer ruined my day and I don't think I appropriately handled it. Okay, here comes Tuberiel again. It's gotta be Spark. I just got a Thunderbolt it. It's already paralyzed. It's taken a beating, so is Spark. But Spark has to be the one to do this. Drizzle applies again! 
I don't know why Drizzle applied twice. I guess because I switched out and switched back in. Fan friggin' tastic. And it tried to priority me and got paralyzed. Beautiful. Is this the start of Sparks Rampage? I hope it is. A Corsa Reef. Water Rock. Yeah, Rock isn't anything to electricity. It's still gonna take two Thunders. Oh, Sturdy? Focus Sash. Yeah, Surf is gonna hurt, what, like 50 points? 78? Excuse you? You come into my house. Uh, who's quick? I'll just let Lemons deal with it. How did it do that much damage? Sparks the poster- Oh, the rain. Of course. You're completely correct. The rain buffed it out of control. Escartes. That's water ground. I don't have a good way to stop that. Um... I could yawn it. I think I'd be better off skyfalling and getting it paralyzed. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I think I've got to paralyze it. Or we'll pray for paralysis at least. If Simon's incredibly lucky, I could flinch hacks it to death, but let's not place any bets. Yep, we're out. I think Callie's got me. I don't think I can do anything about this. Spark kind of betrayed me with that rain. Yeah, I can't really do anything with- uh, Chemical can't help this at all. It's gotta just be Lemons who hits it. I think Callie's taking me out, guys. Yeah, I'm going to use Mega Barrier to counter that Tuberiel. Oh, there goes the rain. Doesn't really help at all. You can't really help when you speed nerf a paralyzed Pokemon. You know, if I had Godai here, Godai would be the perfect counter to this. Wait, I wasn't meant to choose Flamethrower, I was meant to pick Crunch. Wow, that did a lot of damage, all things considered. Hang on, is that going to do more than Crunch? Because Crunch is physical and I'm a special attacker. Maybe I'll just keep Flamethrowering. Because if it doesn't one-shot me, I think I'm going to take it out next. Oh. I mean, Godai probably could have beaten up that Tuberiel pretty easily. Blacked out. Scurry to a Pokemon Center, protecting the exhausted and fainted Pokemon. <laughs> where am I? Hang on a second, where have I gone? I'm back in Tsukunami Village. God, I was so embarrassed I ran for the hills. Okay, well, clearly we need to go back there and fight our way back to Cali and then start again from that in the next episode. Or we can soft reset back to the Cali fight because that's boring and wastes time for no reason whatsoever. Cool. Okay, who did she send out first? Tuberiel. So I'm just gonna put Yuoman up in front. You can call whatever you want about my choice there, but look at it logically. I go back and off-camera fight it up again and then start a new episode with this finale, 
or we just, you know, reset here and take another shot. Frankly, I'm just going to do this. And if you have a problem, I'm going to do Pokemon Moon when it comes out, and I can't cheat that. Well, I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. I mean, I'd get more XP by fighting my way back up to her, which would make me stronger, but I just don't care. Anyway, I'm not going to be betrayed by that ridiculous, ridiculous... Spark kind of betrayed me there, to my own surprise. Alright, you omen. Go. Hard. I'm gonna cross chop it. No, I'm gonna drain punch. Keep that HP up. Big spicy boy. Aqua Jet, yep, you're prioritying me, and it's gonna do what, 60? 40. And now I'm gonna take all that HP back, thank you. Wow, you were tanky. Tuberiel has strong jaws, amazing attacks, and is really physically and specially tanky. It's a horrifically powerful Pokemon. Dead though. Yep, cool. Corsa Reef. That's Water Rock. Well, it's rock, so Yuamin can break it. Go get. I guess since I was hitting first, I should have cross chopped. Damn, you omen! This guy! Oh god! Well, that's bad for you, omen. Man, I sure hope I get priority on the next thing I need to punch, because I need to recover a lot of HP now. Woo! Co-Cancer. Okay. I'm gonna let a full health summon take a stone edge to try and paralyze this thing, and maybe flinch hacks it. Here comes that Skyfall! I reg You know what really makes me saddest about all of this is that my core mistake was using Spark over Uomen. That's just very sad. Okay, it's gonna take three hits to deal with this Co-Cancer. Oh. Water Psychic. Because it's psychic, man. Yuoman could eat so much HP off of this thing. But if it if I switch in Yuoman and it uses a non-psychic move, Yuoman's out. I gotta switch in Spark and just Thunderbolt it. I would love nothing more than to have Yuoman recover full HP off this thing. But I can't reliably say it's only using psychic moves. Yeah, there's an ice beam. Wow, that would have destroyed Simon. Okay, I'm gonna Thunderbolt it for a bit. Man, I wish she'd traded that in after knocking out Co-Cancer because I could have swapped in Uomen on that and got on my Feast of Hell. Okay, two more Thunderbolts. Oh, here comes Co-Cancer again. Oh no, the Escadis. Um... Best way to fight this, I guess, would be to use Surf? It's neutral, because water is effective against ground. Yeah, that's... that's... A oh, that's not okay. Oh, Spark. I do not have a good counter to this water ground type.
I'm going to drain punch it. Cross chop would be nice because I have bloodlust, but if I miss cross chop, that's it. I mean, I don't think I can recover enough HP with a drain punch. No, no, that's not going to be enough to take a hit. But it certainly hurt this thing a lot. Oh god. Oh, you omen. Can you do it? You omen. Stealth Rock's really bad news, though. Level 70 for Big Spicy Boy. Cocancer is coming back. Ah, uh, Simon can take the hit and Skyfall it. As much as that's gonna su- oh. oh, crap. Well, I guess it's Yeoman's fight now. I don't think Yeoman can take a hit from this Cocancer. On you omen. Oh, you omen. There's that citrus berry ruining my day. Uh, it's gonna take me out regardless of what I do. I should cross chop it. You omen! Oh, the biggest, spiciest boy. Refusing to die. All right. Let's eat. I know you're hungry. Feast. Fighting is ineffective on Psychic. I'm a moron. I need to crunch it. There's no way Aerial Ace would have worked better. Look, it's 40 with non-stab, and it would have been super effective against one thing. That's what? Double damage? 80 damage. Oh, well, is Aerial Ace 60? So that's 120. Cross Chop's 120 naturally with stab. Feast. Here's my feast. Yeah, okay, so it would have doubled to 120. Okay, a Gyarados. I really miss Spark right now. None of my team are equipped to beat this Gyarados, so I'm just going to burn it down. Because she's about to Mega Evolve it. So it'll become Dark type. Water Dark. So if I can land a Cross Chop, it's going to suffer. I hope it's not faster than Yeoman, because I... What a funny sprite. Yeoman, are you fast? Okay, Yeoman. Half its HP? Good job, buddy. Okay. Yeah, Yeoman's not tanking the waterfall. Especially not a crit waterfall. There was team contribution, though, and that's what really matters. Okay, Simon, you're gonna have to weather some pointy rocks. Man, Stealth Rock sucks. Alright, Skyfall this- What do you mean Gyarados is faster? Okay, get a Paralysis, please. Thank you. Here comes Air Slash. Nice, Simon. Worked out spiral power. Defeated Leader Cali. Phew, that was fun. Wow, that battle was quite a workout, huh? I think it's safe to say that you're the stronger among us. I'll be cheering you on from here on out. And the winner is Taurus. Congratulations on advancing to the final round. I feel like there was a little bit of time-space manipulation going on, but I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. The final battle will take place in the Champions Arena! Its winner will be crowned Champion of Tandor!
Okay, and it's quite clearly going to be Theo. Champion round. Who's going to lead the champion round? Theo always likes to lead with his Nymphlora, so I'm going to put Chemical B in charge. Don't have any Steel types, so... His uh, Nucleon is going to be an issue. My final opponent. Champions Arena. Holy! Yeah, of course it's Theo. Isn't this like a severe health hazard? I don't think OHS is approved of this Lavra Arena. Alright. And there's Theo. Hey, Taurus! You don't look too surprised to see me. I gotta admit, I fully expected to be facing you. You and me, battling for the title of champion. In some ways, it feels like... destiny? <laughs> that was pretty cheesy. I'll admit, we've been through a lot together. We got our starters at the same time, we battled, but we also turned up pretty often too. Remember Comet Cave? It feels like so long ago. And here we are at the end. Taurus, I gotta be honest, I always was jealous of you. I thought people treated you different from me because you were older. That was probably part of it, but you were always more mature too. I think that was what they saw in you. It took so long for me to learn how to control my emotions like you do. To not run away when I'm afraid, not to take reckless risks just to prove I could. You inspired me. I copied everything you did, just like when we were kids. You were my idol, my rival. We've fought so many times to even save my life. Taurus, because of you, I'm one of the strongest trainers in Tandor, but I'm finished with following behind you. From here on out, I'm going to set my own path. With all my strength and the trust of my Pokemon. I think I can beat even you, Taurus. Theo, that was a wonderful speech, but you know what? I'm going to win. You know why I'm going to win? Because it's me. If both trainers are... Huh? Whoa! I thought this arena was secure. I mean, I know it's literally on top of an active volcano, but what's going on? What is going on? Are you abs- what, what is this? Is this Urain? That, that's a legendary Pokemon. It, it's got Urain's possible. Can it be Actan? Actan? Something seems off about it. Taurus, doesn't it look like a nuclear Pokemon? Why is there a legendary interrupting my fight? Warning, rad levels rising. Warning. Thanks, Taurus, you gotta use your hazard suit. Take these. Okay, nuclear laws. Why, why is this suddenly happening? Use my Pokemon to get the people in this arena's safety. Catch that thing or calm it down or something. Change into the hazard suit, which apparently I was carrying on me all this time. Uh... Okay, well, I guess I'll save and... You, su you know, suddenly I feel like there's going to be more to this finale than this episode can contain. So, I'm going to say thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.